you are here with me amrita varshni on aid virtual we have been looking at criticism over the past few days and here is yet another addition in this video we'll be talking about new criticism and the two uses of language by ia richards new criticism is a 20th century movement that emerged as a dominant trend in britain and america it began in the 1920s and this movement got its name after the publication of john crow ransom's the new criticism in the year 1941 william emson john crow ransom t s eliot allen tate clayant brooks i a richards are some of the notable practitioners of new criticism now let's talk about some important features of new criticism Criticism that existed before the 20th century focused a lot on the author, the feelings of the author, the historical significance and so on and so forth. In short, the earlier critics focused a lot on external factors. But however, the new critics focused on structure and meaning of a text. They excluded the reader's response, the author's intention, the historical and cultural contexts and also the moralistic bias from their analysis they largely believed in the autotelic nature of the text other moral and religious considerations social political and environmental conditions were considered to be unnecessary for understanding a text they employed the technique of close reading and attention was given to the form and the content of the text iver armstrong richards popularly known as ia richards is an important name that figures in our discussions of new criticism ia richards gave importance to psychological criticism and he brought together aesthetics psychology and semantics for ia richards criticism was science because he believed that literature is a scientifically analyzable activity his notable works are principles of literary criticism published in the year 1924 practical criticism published in the year 1929 coleridge on imagination published in the year 1935 Now let's talk about IA Richards the two uses of language. The two uses of language is the 34th chapter of Principles of Literary Criticism published in the year 1924. Richards recorded and examined the human mind. He concluded that the human mind is a system of impulses and poetry is the record of the happy play of impulses to find more about the language that poetry uses he distinguishes two different uses of language the first is the scientific or the referential use of language and the second is the emotive use of language the scientific or the referential use of language helps in recalling the objects or rather it merely mentions the objects the emotive use of language on the other hand gives us feelings or rather evokes in the listeners and audience sense of feeling for example when i say this is a table it merely presents before the listeners the image of a table on the other hand when i say This table was used by Mr R K Narayan. This evokes a sense of awe in the listeners. Probably even the sense of respect in some of us who know about the greatness of R K Narayan. This is called as the emotive use of language. Poetry according to I A Richards can never be written using the scientific language or the referential language. The emotive use of language is employed in poetry. The referential use of language is used for scientific purposes. Therefore, it is a matter of fact and is characterized by the absence of fiction. In criticism as well, I. A. Richards says that we could use scientific language. 
Thus, IHS differentiates between the scientific and the emotive views of language. Hope you all liked the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Do remember to like, share and subscribe.